Hello everyone, welcome to another exciting math problem of the week. Today's challenge involves inequality and calculus, and it might be a bit challenging for beginners. Here is the problem. Determine the nearest integer to the maximum value of a plus ab plus abc, where a, b, and c are positive real numbers satisfying a plus b plus c equals 10. The options are a 51, B 52, C 53, and D 54. Before we uncover the solution, I encourage you to hit the pause button, grab your pen and paper, and give it your best shot. When you're ready, feel free to share your answers in the comments. Then we explore the solution together. Let's get started. Let's start with some clever try and error. We define f of a, b, c as a plus a, b plus a, b, c. With the sum of a, b, and c being 10, we might try a equals 3, b equals 3, and c equals 4, which gives us f equals 48. Adjusting slightly, trying a equals 3, b equals 4, and c equals 3, give f equals 51, an improvement. It becomes clear that setting equals 4, b equals 3, and c equals 3 will give a value greater than 51. Specifically, f equals 52. Since a, b, c can be real numbers, we explore non-integer values, such as a equals 4, b equals 3.5 and c equals 2.5, giving us f equals 53, the highest so far. This raises the questions, is it possible to achieve an f value greater than 53? Or perhaps even more than 53.5? To address this, we employ a clever trick. Given that a plus b plus c equals 10, we have c equals 10 minus a minus b. Substitute it into f and we obtain f is a plus a times b times 11 minus a minus a b. We obtain f as a function of a and b. Now by AMGM inequality, a plus 11 minus a minus b over 2 is at least square root of b times 11 minus a minus b. The expression on the left-hand side of this inequality can be simplified as 11 minus a over 2. This means that b times 11 minus a minus b is not more than 1 over 4 times 11 minus a square. With the result from AM GM inequality, we find that the expression of f simplified, allowing us to deduce that the maximum of f can be represented as a cubic polynomial in terms of a. Now we let this degree 3 polynomial be g a. Following standard calculus procedures, we find the derivative of this polynomial, set it to 0 and solve for a to find the maximum value. This process confirmed that the maximum value of A is approximately 53.055 and is achievable when A is approximately 3.853 and B is calculated based on the AMGN condition and C is approximately 2.574. Can we confirm that the maximum value of f is 53.055, implying that the correct answer to our problem is c. Thank you everyone who submitted their responses. Approximately 48% of you arrived at the correct solution. Interestingly, a significant 40% of respondents chose b, which is not correct. Let's also explore other methods and solutions that could be applied to this problem. Thank you everyone for participating in this math challenge. 
Stay tuned for more intriguing math problems. This concludes today's lesson. I hope you found the video insightful and are looking forward to more math adventures. Until next time, take care and bye-bye.